the ranch doctor uptown here we're here today with a marlin model 60 with a problem this is uh, commander Justin from over at uh, Bricktown firearms he's one of the owners there and uh, brought me his model 60 and said he needed some help because his bolt is duck back. Uh, he suspected that it was dirty however uh, he also told me that he hadn't really fired that many rounds through it so we're gonna uh, break it down a little bit and uh, see what we got to do here. This particular one is an older model probably he believed from the late 90s. So what we're gonna do is just kind of uh, start easing this thing apart and see if we can figure out if something is broken or if in fact um, it's just so dirty that it uh, doesn't want to operate. Now, as you saw we just took the uh, rear trigger guard bolt and this forward bolt out and then that just leaves us with our trigger assembly which is uh, nothing more than just a trigger assembly. There is quite a bit of crud in the uh, bottom of the stock so we'll see how that goes. Uh, this is one of the uh, newer designed ones. Some of the really old ones have a uh, series of screws back here but this is one of the ones with the polymer pin. So what we're going to do is ease that pin out of the back and what that does is that allows us to just crank the uh, hammer assembly out. And it is fairly dirty, however, I don't see any broken parts there. Ah, well, we broke that loose. I'm just looking to see if there is a burr or something in here. We should be able to work this charging handle out. There we go. By lifting that up, the charging handle just drops out. And then that leaves us our bolt and our guide rod. As you can see, it is fairly dirty, but I wouldn't have thought it was dirty enough to cause any kind of. Uh, stoppage like we had. Now, he did tell me that uh, he's had a real serious issue with some uh, he's had a real serious issue with uh, <coughs> at his place and that was uh, what he was using. He was using uh, those CB rounds if you're familiar with them. Um, and that's what he was using when he had this uh, stoppage. So I think what we'll do is just go ahead and uh, clean everything back up, reassemble it, and then uh, take it out and do some uh, test firing with it and see if that solves our problem. I'm not going to uh, burden you guys with uh, watching me go through and spray all these parts off to clean them up and everything, but uh, we'll get that done and then come back with you. Okay guys, we're back. We. Uh, Pretty much have everything cleaned up and uh, so we'll see how 
it goes here we will um, get this thing back together we did not find any broken parts whatsoever so what we're gonna do is put this thing back together and see if we can take this thing out and fire it without having any issues for whatever reason that bolt was just stuck in a fully rear position I don't really know particularly why the rifle was dirty but it wasn't so obscenely bad that it should have locked up so I'm just going to uh, Put her back together here and kind of lube everything back up the way it should have been. And uh, see how our function is after we've got that taken care of. Kind of shoot a little lube around and see what we come up with. So we'll go ahead and insert her hammer group back into place reinsert our polymer pin that seems to work fine so we'll go ahead and reinstall our stock Get that back in place, and then, uh, yes, we'll take it out and shoot it. See how it does. Like I say, just these two screws are what holds the receiver and the stock together. Once we've got that, we'll uh, just kind of check the action and see how we end up. One thing we will do is just, uh, I didn't really put any CLP in the very front there. You hear, uh, Private Spence off in the background. All right. Well, we're fairly well lubricated. I guess now it's just a matter of taking her out and giving her a test fire and seeing how we end up. I will uh, get back with you after we do some test firing and. Uh, let you know how turning things worked out. Okay guys, well we're back with the Model 60. It uh, performed just fine. Shot a few rounds through it. Hits right where it's uh, aimed at. And we didn't have any problems with the bolt getting stuck back, so I guess we'll just rule it as a dirty gun and uh, call it that. But uh, didn't find anything broken and uh, once we uh, got the thing taken apart and put back together and lubed back up, it seems to be performing flawlessly. I hope you guys find this interesting. We'll talk to you later. You have a good day.